If I had a dollar for every time I've heard about a blind person getting accused of staring at someone in the gym, I would have two dollars. Which isn't a lot, but it's still strange that it happened twice. Once I was in the gym minding my own business, I hear someone a few meters away say, Oh, do you like the view? Why are you staring at me? I didn't come here to be stared at! I say I'm very sorry, didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. I'm actually blind. I was not staring at you, I was staring at nothing. I'm sorry, I'm blind, I say to her. Calls me a creep, storms off, gets a gym worker. Her response? I don't care. Stop staring at me. I was removed from the gym that day. Both of these guys had very similar experiences, and while I can kind of understand the first initial accusation, the fact that they both got a talking to from gym employees and one of them even got kicked out is ridiculous. Imagine how scary the world is for a blind person, and on top of that, getting accused of something that isn't physically possible for you to do. Of course, you should be allowed at the gym no matter what disability you have, and seriously, just how low can someone's IQ get? Getting mad that a blind guy for staring at you is like accusing your cat of barking too loud or yelling at David Goggins for being too lazy. It just doesn't make sense. I think this is a case of a very simple misunderstanding and someone just refusing to accept that they made a mistake. It's honestly fascinating how someone's ego can be that big. Making a mistake is one thing, but not owning up to it when you realize you've made one and then letting it affect a blind person who hasn't done anything wrong is just disgusting. If the people in question would just realize they made a mistake and apologize, this problem would have been solved in two seconds and no one would be mad at anyone. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you hate my videos and have a nice day.